I got guns, hoes, money, troll, cars, boats. You should know. Dogs, bros, squad, bros, hold up, bro. You name it. Guns, hoes, money, troll, cars, boats. Just a little delayed. Yeah, like Dogs, always. Bros, because of the internet. Because of the internet. Because, because of the internet. Because of the internet. That was a bit that just kind of just died. Man, it was so good though. We had so many things that died along the way. You know, like we gotta bring some of these bits back. You know, kind of like um, uh, cunningness. It's died. Cunning like. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you pulling those beers out of? WWE Championship uh, uh, Cooler Cooler sponsored by Igloo. Igloo! Are you a functioning alcoholic, but you want to be a wrestling fan? Is that supposed to be a cooler? Yes. That's it, boys. We close up shop. I mean, that was peaked. If you feel like, when did you peak? It was that. Yeah, let's like uh, peaked in high school. Get in here. We got to start the show. We got to start the show. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome to the Funky Panther. Coming to you from Fort Worth, Texas, we have got a hell of a show for you. Here on episode 164. Hooray! Hey! <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All three of us are back. We're here. We're here for you. So sit back, relax, try to enjoy. I'm Chad. I'm Javier. I'm Tim. And we are the Bucky, Bucky Panther. Panther. Javier's been. Why do you just not say it now? I've noticed. On the I've last said episode. it. On the last yeah, episode, you it. left Tim by himself. No, there was one where I said it, and none of nobody said it. I don't think that's true. I yes. always say it. Lion ass. So how you boys been? We talked about it the first 30. You can go back and watch our YouTube uh, for the first, well, I guess 40. It was the first 40 because uh, we carried on a little late. Cause All right. In 15 to, seconds, 15 seconds. What have you been up to? Go. Uh, basketball and uh, Gilmore Girls and food poisoning. Okay. That was quick. Tim, go. Uh, work and bricks. Barbecue. <laughs> nice. Mexico new job tool concert. Mexico new job tool. Boom. Nude job? Nude, nude job. You, got no, that, you nude. heard it first, everybody. You got that nude job. Jo- cha- cha- nude job. Fuck. You, you want to see that. a grown man make no money? <laughs> Come on in. What is that? What is that? So we've got some some things to start off with. We've got yeah. some news. Some updates. We, haven't done we got updates. some nudes. We have some nudes to show you guys. We hope you enjoy it. Um, it's probably going to be the worst thing you've ever seen. But maybe you'll get it too. Or some people might like it. I don't know. Mm. You, n- you never, you never Look, know. There's a these thing days. for everything. Yeah, there's, 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 you know what I mean? there's a man for every. Piece. I never knew that someone would want to see my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gotten a lot of messages here Watch lately. Watch scream really loud in my ass. I mean, there's what, 7 million people in the world? All, 7 billion? All 7 asking billion people to verify my identity through my butthole. Out of 7 billion people, there's got to be one person that thinks you are the sexiest man alive. There has to be. And you are the sexiest man alive. You know Thank what I mean? You. There has to be. And, and someone thinking that you are the pinkest, sexiest man alive. Hey, some people like that pink. They do. You know what I mean? I, we just got to, you know. XM, call us, please. We cuss. <laughs> we say dirty <laughs> things. We're the new Howard Stern, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we do have some updates that we need to talk about. What is it? Uh, We got to have them put their speaker on the floor. Yes, and then you got to sit on it and... Uh, <laughs> All right, God, sorry. what a fucking sorry. movie, let's, right? Let's, 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 get, let's get back into that. All right. So first off, next week, we are going to come back to you with a guest. So next episode, we're going to have yes. a guest. Did you confirm? Is it confirmed? It's not confirmed yet. So we'll, we'll see soon. Uh, Do we even... We will have not, a guest. Let's not say who it is. Right. That's what I, I'm not saying. It. George W. Bush, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we, we got him. We don't have confirmation just yet, but we're fairly certain that we've got W next week. The on Warmonger himself. Is that what the W stands for? Yes. George Warmonger Bush. <laughs> so next week, we've got a couple of events that we've got going on. Really excited about. So on the 15th, there is a Visit Fort Worth event, just like there is every year. We've been fortunate enough to be able to go to the past couple of years. Um, we're going to make it out again this year. So if you're there, come see us. We're likely going to be in the same place we were last year, probably at the top of the escalator, I would assume, uh, with our whole booth. We're going to be hanging out with Robin from Corks and Cowtown, and we're going to be just pulling people aside and just doing a real quick five, 10 minute you know, interview segment, talk, whatever you want to do, plug something. We'll just be pulling in people to kind of you know talk about Fort Worth, talk about what's going on. Um, 
Visit Fort Worth has already completely sold out of the event. This event is all together now, is what it's called. Really excited to see what that means. Okay, yeah. Every year they have a theme. They always have like food and drinks provided. There's always like some kind of surprise guest or you know a speaker and then all sorts of stuff. So really excited about what's going to happen this year. This is just in. Connie's doing a podcast now. Oh, okay, God. all three of y'all get your phones out and go ahead and see if you can find it and give it a one star. Oh my goodness, let's not. <laughs> Dude, I don't even know what she sounds like, but I assume it's just like I'm sure. She, I'm sure she sounds like an old hat. Y'all want to head ponchos? You guys want to go ahead and stick your hand and grab my scream real loud in my asshole like that? Yes. Okay. Uh, so also on the 15th, really excited about that. That's going to be bright and early Thursday morning on February 15th. Um, that same day, if you were like, okay, well, I'm not going to make it out there to see the boys, uh, cause it is sold out. If you don't have tickets, everyone else will see you there that night. There's going to be an event at ampersand bar over there off of seventh street. The Fort Worth, Fort Worth Forever peeps have got another really fun event going on. This is going to be like a single and mingle thing. You know, your boys aren't single, but we'll be there mingling. Uh, we'll be having a good time drinking. Have you ever been to the Fort Worth Forever events yet? No. No, have you? No, I haven't been there yet. I've been to a couple, and they're just all out fun. Like, they, they bring Fort Worth. They bring, uh, like, a lot of, like, uh, guest bartenders, guest bartenders right? from different bars yeah. from Fort Worth. They've got, like, the last one had the guys that have the, the shoe pop-up. So they bring Mr. Fort Worth to these <laughs> they events? They bring Mr. Worth himself. They bring all sorts of people out, and I so it's always fun. In my uh, and you always see people that we know, right? Like, there's people that we've known from the different events and things like that. Yeah, we've last been grateful time, to know a bunch of people. Got to see Anthony uh, Oliphant. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, hung out with him for a little bit last time. And then also, John Photos is always going to be there. Yeah. So we'll see him next Thursday as well. So if you can make it out next Thursday on the 15th of February, 2024, make it, make it to Ambersand Bar on 7th Street for the Fort Worth Forever Singles Mingle. So I do have something special that has to do with our upcoming guests. And I just want to play this little this little message here. Hang on, it's not playing. I've got it playing through the wrong thing. Okay, what are you doing? I fu- I fucked Fucking up. Sometimes it happens. Hour. Story of your life. Hey, uh, on the group chat, Christy says uh, April, February fifteenth is Valentine's Day. Well, bring your gals over to Ambersand and act like you're single. You know what I mean? It'll be a party. It will be a party. It's a it, this this uh, this has got a little build up to it. It's got a little build up. Let's see if you remember this message. We got I a heard, very I special already, message. I remember. It. I don't want to hear it. It's sticking too long. You gotta build it up. No, it's way too much built up. I'll cut it back later. Hello, this is George W. Bush. I want to say congratulations to the boys of the Funky Panther for winning Fort Worth Magazine Best of Radio Personality. A long time ago, you by the way. You boys did it again, and your well, grandpappy is very proud of you. Love you all, and continue to do our nation proud. Yeah, George this W. Message Bush. This not officially from George W. Bush, but we imagine this is what he would say if he actually knew who the fuck we are. <laughs> yeah, George W. Bush, he's a longtime listener, and he's going to be on our show eventually. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm planning on it. I doubt. Did you see that? Uh, 9-11? <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I remember watching Crazy. it. Yeah, I remember it. Never forget. Never mind. <laughs> no, what did I see? What, Smooth what? Vega and the Shaq thing. Oh, yeah, and uh, who else did he... He got a, another text from someone else. Dude, Smooth Vega's doing things. He's, I know. Dude, he's been doing things. He's of been course doing he things, has, but, but now like, he's like really... With the social media marketing? Well, yeah, I mean he's like... really pushed that out and, there. So and Louis the Singer's yeah. been killing it. It's weird, because like just a year ago or so, like Louis the Singer was just hanging out at... Um, the event we went to at Union Station, like we went to the... the uh, what was it me and you? We yeah, it was like you a little, and Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did a little concert. Uh-huh. And we talked to Louis the Singer outside for a second. We're like, hey, man, how you doing? He's like, I think I'm going to get into country. And we're like, oh, yeah? I do remember him saying that. I was like, that. that's weird. And here he is, like, Killing. fucking badass, man. Killing it in country, <laughs> no man. idea. He's doing a, sh- a festival in Chicago, the Windy City something. But um, shout out. Uh, Smooth Vega gave like, a I would like to, to visit Fort Worth and uh, uh, hear Fort Worth. They really helped. I, I would like to sit down with, uh, and not really sit down, but just, like, come across Louis again and just say, hey, I don't know if you remember this. We thought you were joking. I thought he was joking because we saw him at Lua right. Palooza and he did a phenomenal job. 
But then he was talking about getting to country. I literally thought it was a joke. I was like, <laughs> okay. I did not know he was this serious. And he's so good. He is, <laughs> he is yeah. so good. Uh, yeah. Very, very talented man. Yeah. If you haven't listened to Louis the Singer, you should check it out. Even if you're not into country, it is like this. He's got a hell of a success story, too. Like, yeah. I mean, if you really like dig in, like listen to his life story and kind of get into it. I mean, it, you end up really loving the guy and, and all the work that he's put into it. So. But man, shout out to Smooth Vega, though, for putting in the work. And, uh, you know, he's had a lot of people on his podcast. Uh, he's uh, had a. Julio Cesar Chavez, the boxer. Mm-hmm. He's had. Uh, he's going to have Shaq. I guarantee he's going to have Shaq now. And that's a dude. Did you see the picture he posted? I mean, he's going to be there. Shaq's yeah. Gonna be so there. I'm going to have to hit up. Uh, we just want to be Smooth present. Vega. Dude, yeah, I just want to be present. Just, just invite us to be present, we'll please. Be we just want to be there. We won't be weird. We'll, yeah, we'll I'll, be a little I'll, weird. I'll, I'll be weird. We'll be, <laughs> I'll be a little weird. Just I'm gonna have him. I'll have, I'm gonna have Shaq sign my Shaq Attack Reebok. So, uh, dude, I yeah, got that yeah. Funko that I, <laughs> I oh, bought from the last studio. Uh, yeah. yeah, get that sign. Yeah, uh, pretty awesome. Any other updates? I feel like that's probably. Oh no, man, I've got no other updates other I have, than like I have one update actually. Okay, I just thought about it. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you yeah, off. Yeah, what, do you, what do you got? I don't have anything. Okay, so I had this reminder pop up literally right before the uh, the call started just now. It says $150 whiskey bet on if AI has made any huge leaps in one year from episode number 122. Define define huge leaps from basically non-existent to where we're at today. Define <laughs> Come on, shut the, come on man. All That's right. the bet we made. Yeah, you I can got, go back. Episode I, 122. No, 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 I, no, I, I wrote I, it down so that I wouldn't forget. I know. I can't believe that's popped up. <laughs> It's already been a year. Can you believe that? My shit? Lou, I have egg on my face. God damn. <laughs> How cold this beer is. Yeah, it's, Man. it's came out of your WWE cooler. So for those of the, you that are not watching on YouTube or didn't catch us on the first 30, Javier walks in with a WWE belt, um, but it's not a belt. It's actually like a fanny pack cooler that he's got filled with beer. And and it's got this little pocket behind the two, <laughs> behind it here too. So it's really, if you're watching it on video, it's a pretty, it's a sight How much see. did this set you back? Uh, it was only 40 bucks. That's nah, not bad. That's not a steal. bad at all. I, that's, I would spend 40. I'd spend probably 80 on that. But they were sold out for the longest time. So when I went to go check and see if I could find one, people were selling it for $100 a pop. You should have bought more. I bought one more. Did you? Yeah, I did. You're going to try to resell it and make Fuck money back? Yeah. Hell yeah, Come man. On. Really? Yeah. Just like you're going to resell that Supreme fridge? Hey, man. Hey, that thing's been a huge, huge help. I'm sure. Yeah. Help how? We put our drinks in there, you know, for dinner. We just, you know. When you're sitting there chilling on the couch, you don't yeah. have far to go. No, yeah. We you know, just get in there and grab a drink. So just remind him in a few weeks when he forgets to sell the WWE yeah, yeah. belt and be like, hey, remember, I, I kind of want that. All right. So I'm going to next next payday, I'll go out and buy a nice bottle of whiskey. I'll find something good. I trust uh, that you'll find something good. I'll find something good. Trust you. Within the round that price point. But that's crazy, though. The, 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 the leaps and bounds that uh, AI has come i know man i use it every day yeah every, every single day. day every day i usually use it every day too like it, it taught me how to reprogram like an audi like the the sunroof of an audi <laughs> like you have to reprogram it whenever you're <laughs> dropping the headliner and it tells you like um hold three three seconds let go hold back five seconds let go push the button for another 10 seconds you should hear two beeps and then it sure shit and it worked fucking worked what if it what if it bricked the car though <laughs> I mean, I think we're putting too much. We're we're putting maybe a little bit too much faith. In we're that, putting right? a lot of trust into yeah. Chat GPT and and whatnot. I'm but. just waiting for it to uh, start giving us bad ideas. Kill your parents. <laughs> okay, okay, I think that's what the next bet should be. <laughs> Kill your parents. How long until death happens from AI? Oh, I'm sure you can ask it how to make cyanide. I mean, I already well, it's not supposed to do that, but. You have There's to already been it. that <laughs> robot that like hurt somebody at yeah, like, the Tesla factory. Yeah, like at the Giga legitimately factory. hurt them. Yeah, it uh, pinned them against the wall and uh, <laughs> made love to them. Try to. I want to go inside <laughs> you. <laughs> right. I want to go. Let me finish. All right, Let Stephen. me finish. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it was Stephen Hawking that was there. that was there. It was uh, it was a but it was one of those robot arms. Oh baby! And uh, it legitimately pinned this guy up against the wall, and I guess he was able to like slide down and into the. There's like an oil pit underneath it. He was able to slide down to get like away from it. Dude, that's crazy. Hey, speaking of which, let's on on the technology side. Yeah. Um. So here in the past week, 
we've seen sightings of cyber trucks and uh the apple headset yeah have you seen people i saw a yes. video yeah, did you send the video of somebody driving a cyber truck with the uh apple vision yeah i've seen that and i've seen another one in a tesla and they're just letting it autopilot while they're sitting there fucking doing weird shit yeah but Bro. have you seen the videos of apple vision though no like actual real time what they're seeing it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I thought the three thousand dollars was a fucking gimmick, and now I'm like, how can I come up with three grand real quick to buy one, bro? It's reselling for like seven grand. So StockX. No. So shit. Yeah. What's, I did not think um, about that. What's really cool about them is that, like, say you bring up like your, you got like a, you want a big screen TV or whatever, so you put that up in your living room. Wherever you pin it in your house, it stays there, and so you can walk to another room, and it's not like this thing's following you around, right? And then you turn around, and come back to it, and it gets bigger as you approach it. Like, it's full augmented reality, well, and it's insane. So my VR does that, too. Like, it does. it's just that you can't see through it. Yeah, but the only you thing know? yours does is porn. Like, this one does so much No, 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 no. That's what I'm hey, saying. Man. Like, you can, see, you can see through it. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at, is you can see through it. You can, you can still go about your day and do things while having your stuff pinned up. And, like, so if you wanted to wear it outside your house, you leave. Those windows stay in your house. Right. And then whenever you come back, they're there. I also Which think it's crazy is like the whole FaceTime aspect. Like I'm, I'm ready to see what that actually looks like. But whenever they were, whenever Zuckerberg was doing it, or, or no, not Zuck. It, it was, was a couple of uh, um, tech writers. Okay, yeah. And even a Casey Neistat. Which, if you go look at the video, he has one of the best videos of walking around New York City. And it's really cool because there was a point where he was in the subway. It tracks your you know movement. So obviously you're in the subway, you're sitting down, but you see the lights and like the background move. Yeah, yeah. and it tells you like cannot calibrate, like we can't pick up. You're. It, it seems like you're moving. We're not gonna set the windows right there in front of you. You have to oh, like, look okay, down or you. look yeah, at the yeah, ceiling, yeah, so that way it'll stay there. Huh. But hmm. that video, if you haven't seen it, like go and watch it. People looking, obviously, but you know. Once you start walking, you see everything around you, and it records. It records yeah. you walking. You know what is it going to use it for, though? I don't know. I don't know how he what he yeah. did or how he did it. But no, I'm just saying. Like, uh, I mean, it's getting too, it's getting kind of, kind of crazy. But have you seen the Dyson headphones? So Dyson's got these. Dyson's got these fucking ungodly expensive headphones. But they Dyson also have, the vacuum. Yeah, Dyson the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I don't know. But they have this thing that goes over your mouth, right? <clears throat> Does and it, it suck? No, it's designed to like <laughs> muffle, like so people can't like hear your conversations or whatever. So you have it over your face, and it, and you you can have your conversation and, and whatnot. And I saw somebody put that on with with the Google or the Apple uh, yeah. Vision or whatever. And I'm like, what kind of dystopian society are we living in at this point? Essentially, like we're in that that movie with Harry Styles and what's her face? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Well, the evolution which I'm waiting for is the black mirror you know the chip the chip well the, the, the neuron link the, yeah, the, yeah. The, and the, that's going out for fucking like they're putting that shit in people now yeah yeah like Man. actually doing that but i don't think it's going to be like a whole interface in your brain where it will like, be oh, look at me on our show i think it was two years ago we had a full-on conversation about how technology had not really propelled we, we talked about video games we talked about iphones we're like what's the next best thing been stagnant nothing's for a while. happened in a while we got electric cars and there's some self-driving shit happening but really nothing but this past and year, then all of a sudden it's just boom. it's been huge but the tesla truck has been a flop I don't know on the well, real quick on the group chat. Also, the first robot death happened July twenty first, nineteen eighty. <clears throat> Killed a Japanese factory worker. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, but that was, uh, GPT tell you that that was not AI though. And uh, there's someone that has a cyber trick at Hervey's work. Says Christy. And also, Slim Thug tested the porn on the Vision <laughs> Pro. He posted a video talking about it. I'm sure he was like, "Damn." Uh, uh, no, no, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Service never. Mind. I was going to say the, something. With the it. thing with the cyber truck though is. It's not so much it's flopping, but like they've had some shit, right? Yeah, but like the tires. So the uh, so to make it more efficient, they put these you know things over the tires to to eliminate some of the drag. Right. They're tearing up the tires, so they're so all the cyber trucks coming out now are not going to have those until they develop something better. It makes sense because as soon as you kind of hit a, a bump, you think it start rubbing. On but it's that like thing. a it, it reduces it by removing it's like reduces it by like five percent efficiency or something. Wow. So it actually does something. Yeah. Um. But the crazy thing is. 
they didn't put like a clear coat over the stainless. Just a stainless. Mat. Yeah, so it's just stainless, and they've had corrosion issues. There's water spots leaving on there, and it's causing it to uh, like after what? Like it gets hit with a rock or something? Rain. Or just Is it straight rusting? rain? Yeah. Yeah, thought, there, there was like little rust spots on I thought there. Stainless was supposed to not rust unless it was like actually dinged and like gotten into the under underneath or whatever. I thought it was supposed to be bulletproof. It is oh, supposed it, to be it, bulletproof, it, it except is. for when he threw the fucking thing through the window well, in front then, of everybody. But then it, it fixed that. <laughs> shatter. You know, shatter resistant glass or whatever. I saw one on 7th Street uh, last week. And it was the first one I'd seen. I saw the light and I, because it was dark, it was like. And I saw the front light bar, and I knew exactly what it was. We pulled up around it. It looks pretty slick. Like it I, does. I don't. I would never buy it, but it doesn't look bad. It looks like um. It looks like Halo. Uh, yeah, you, man. You put a dude. You're talking about a hell of a technical. If you put a uh, a gun in the back, oh, yeah, like cool. a warthog. Yeah, I mean that <laughs> dude. I, I just see it now. You know, ISIS is going to get their hands on them at some point. Yeah, and then you're going to have Elon Musk over there having to shut things down and whatnot. But the thing about the um, the Tesla truck, they, they've already had the corrosion stuff. They even have a thing. If you get bird poop on it, you're supposed to remove it immediately because it will stain. Yeah, it'll give it bird burn. It'll give it bird burn. Bird burn? Yeah. It, yeah it's, it's a thing. It is. It's bulletproof, but please do not shit on my vehicle. It's acid, man. <laughs> Someone also did like the, they closed the, the, the frunk and there's some pretty sharp angles there and they put a carrot and oh, it just I saw that. Cut right I through did it. See that. Oh my god! Um, my Which favorite, I think it's supposed to be a safety test, right? That yeah, and, supposed and, to and, do. It, and it did not. It just cut right through his finger. Yeah, uh, or the carrot finger. But my favorite was the the YouTuber that bought one. He got a launch edition, and so there's really nothing special about the launch edition other than that some laser engraving, and I think like a startup menu is a it little says bit virgin different. on the front. Probably worth 150 grand. Uh, 120 is I think what he paid or something like that. Yeah, and he went to go sell it at CarMax to see what what they'd offer. Seventy eight thousand, bro. He would. He would. That he's just being an asshole. He could sell that to literally anyone for I yeah, but it's contract more. though. I think you can't. You no, have yeah, to have it. You can't or whatever. But uh, they he just wanted to see what CarMax was going to offer. Wait, right? what's with the contract? It's kind of like with the Ford five hundreds that they had come out a couple years back, uh, or the Ford GT. Um, you have to have it, I think, for a certain amount, yeah, like a year, for like a year or two. Or something like that. So they're like preventing resale. Like you can't resell. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, one of the guys at work bought one of those. He, he pre-ordered a uh, one of the Bronco Raptors. Oh shit! Yeah. So he got it, and he got it at MSRP. They didn't do any dealer markups on there or anything like that. And they even asked him, like, he had a straight up dealership. Asked, like, do you want me to leave the window stickers on? He's like, what? Why? Well, I mean, you could turn around and resell this for like 120. Yeah. He's like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. I really want this truck. So he kept it. But I didn't even think about that. I didn't realize they were going for that expensive. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Like, I mean, anything new and big, it's... I, I, yeah, I get it. But the, the Tesla thing seems like it's a little bit of a flop. Uh, just a little bit. It's the first year. You know, I don't... Do y'all see a lot of Rivians? Yeah, I, I do. Over um, there, there's a couple by the shop. I've been seeing a lot more lately. So I, I've seen like maybe one or two in Fort Worth at all. I was in Dallas for the weekend, and I saw four or five in a single day. Like, there's a shit ton out there. Yeah. They, I think those look pretty damn good. Yeah, they're the truck and the SUV. They're expensive, and you can't lease them. They don't have a lease program. It's only a sell program. And I think, like, to buy one is something like base is almost $100,000. They look pretty damn good. And the inside, remind, I mean, it's a lot like a Tesla, like with, the, with oh, yeah. the roof and everything, like the big, large moon roof or whatever it is. Look pretty awesome. I think it's a better option. Yeah. As that. opposed to the Tesla truck? Yeah, I think so. I do still like the Tesla, the one that has the doors. I don't even know if they still make it. The one oh, that yeah. went up. The model, uh, what is it? The X, Model X? Right? Yeah, Model X, yeah. That one's probably my favorite so far. Those things are crazy, man. I worked on one a couple weeks back, and that shit's wild. I know how to get put it in service mode, so that way they don't see, you know, they can remote in and see who's around the car. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they, got, to, they to, got the Sentinel vision or whatever. Yeah, I know how to put it in service mode. That way it turns off that feature. No shit. Yeah. Interesting. I don't want to see you. you don't want to see my dick all up against your shit. Whoa. <laughs> well, I mean, he's over there popping dicks. You fucking Teslas, bro? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Quit fucking this car, bro. <laughs> Get your dick out of the tailpipe. That does nothing. That's for show. I know how to turn the cameras off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm juicing everywhere. Oh, my God. So, okay. I want to talk uh, again. I want to talk. The, I want to talk, if I can, about the Apple Vision again. Because okay. remember, yeah, think that. about like the first five years of iPhone. Think about the first iPhone, how clunky it was, how slow it was. It didn't even have like, remember like the service back then, the triangulation. They didn't even have real maps. Like but that it, shit was cool, though. It was cool as shit, just like the Apple Vision Pro, whatever the fuck it is, right? 
So what do you think vision is going to be like in five years? If this is step one. Contacts. No, that's the. Uh, that's the 20 year plan probably, yeah. bro. <laughs> it's going to be this. This right here. It's not going to be like a Google Glass. It's not going to have a little corner thing. Everything should be integrated. So like if you have somebody on your phone book, like it'll show like the name will pop up, you know, or like and then maybe like last message, something like that. Or like, you know, hobbies, kind of like what they do that with Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah. But at one point, at what point does it just replace your phone? Well, I mean, it's already almost replacing like uh, iPads and whatnot because you can type you can type on it's a standalone unit so yeah you don't you have can, anything well to, vision yeah you can yeah like, type. so aren't you just kind of cannibalizing your own products at that point i mean maybe they're maybe that's the future well, they're more expensive so fuck it to up, get right? away from other peripherals and yeah. just go straight to that yeah crazy i mean it seems like a good idea because if you if you're in limited space so you're living in a small you know small space or whatever you can have that and have yourself a nice monitor set up and computer and all that stuff from the chat talking about idiocracy and uh, the future and all that kind of stuff. I, I, I really do think like, think about 10 years from now, people are going to be, I even think about uh Wally. We're going to be like rolling around in these hover chairs, just like with our Apple vision nonstop. Not on earth. We're not going to be. Yeah. But, uh, but how many people are going to be, be stupid though? Like how stupid are people going to get? Oh, plenty, man. I'm sure you're going to see that here. We are well, I'm sure people. that's why the safety feature in, in the vision pro where when you're walking, it's not on. It's not working. But how is it working with the uh, whenever they're in the car driving? They put it in passenger mode? That was just, I don't think they were even You think they like, were just bullshit? They were like just acting, bullshit. Like, okay. yeah. No, I seriously saw one that they were driving. Well, yeah, you can see that. But whenever it's like I said with the example that Casey Neistat had on his video, he's on a subway, but the background, like whenever you're moving, it stops it. Like there's a, a orange circle that says... Like it, it can't tracking not available because uh. it just sees like movement because it's looking it's got the cameras where it's looking at what you're seeing so whatever you're looking at is what you know the the vision's looking what's at. the battery life on these things you know? I don't know it's got like a thing for where you can because it hooks up to your phone like a little battery pack oh yeah. I thought it was a battery pack not the phone battery pack but it hook, it hooks up to your phone oh okay you know uh, any Apple execs if you're watching that we would love to have one or three just to test out and 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 review them on here and yeah, keep forever with all of our listeners and all viewers, eighty million <laughs> we're definitely going to help your your stock price go up Apple I'm just letting you know. Just go ahead and hand a few of those over. But you, also, is it required to have an iPhone? If like, you yes, want to hand yeah. over some stock really? options, yeah. yeah. You have to have an you iPhone. Have have an iPhone. Vision. Yeah. Because it works huh. off, it's iOS. It's iOS based. It's, so it's basically like, like a, I have CarPlay, but. I thought it was a standalone thing, though. Yeah, like, I did you too. Don't have it. No. Mm. Mm-mm. Got to have your eyes. This, is, also, this is when we're going to get a, another comment on YouTube. Okay, leave it to the professionals. Leave it to the nerds, you Le- fucking idiots. Leave it to idiots. the technology morons that Fuck know everything. You. Fuck you, whatever your name is, who <laughs> commented on the videos. Suck my dick. There was like a big Lebowski or something like that. Yeah, there's another on. guy. There's yeah, another, there was another guy loser. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? No, but you can, you also have to go in. They It's suggested that you go in for fitting because they have different sizes. Oh, yeah. And then like the uh, spectacle part is uh, different also. So like if you wear glasses and you're going to have to like kind of, I guess, measure your, your prescription or something like that. Yeah, because they've got inserts or something for it, right? Like they that you can put in there to There's different. To if you get on StockX right now, it'll tell you the, the type and like because it's the strap. Yeah. As well, yeah, yeah. Like you have to be fitted for that. You got to be fitted for it. I mean, you go you have in to there be fit to use the. You got to be pro. fit. Mm. You can't be some fucking geek off the street. <laughs> if you know what I mean, I'm fucked. <laughs> Just downright uh, fucked there. Yeah. Uh I, I, I want one. I, I would get one. We could tell. Yeah, I would get one. We could tell. You've been geeking about this for a hot minute. I have been. Ex- I'll, dude, I'm surprised I, Javier doesn't have one. I already. came real close. I was to really close. I was very. I knew Tammy would murder me if I got it. Yeah. I came real Guess close to buying. <laughs> The 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 quest meta the 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 newest one I came real close to buying one. Was of those. it like six hundred bucks? Yeah, fuck. But it's got uh, it's got the uh, augmented stuff as yeah. well. You can see through it, but it's just not clear. Maybe I need to get that. Maybe that's the one I was talking. I was looking at with the video. Or do they both have video? I feel like they both have video. They both have video. Okay, because they both have cameras within the vision to kind of like know where your eye and face are looking. Eye like. tracking, and yeah. then like that's why whenever you see like the FaceTime, it's kind of like an animated version of your face, but a bit realistic. Yeah, so it's kind of creepy. Fuck. I want to get into um, penises. I want to get into like a little we need sports to buy two here of these. in a second. Real quick, we okay, should buy two of them. I don't know why. 
I feel like I'm always too slow to think of this shit. We should have each bought two. Hold on to one for 10 years. Like, you know how much the first iPhone is now? I think it was like 100 grand they sold it for. Like in the box? Yeah. You're having to invest like those six grand right there. Yeah. It's long term. And it might not be so long term. People put more shit in the 401k that increases by 10%. My my Shiba Inu is long term. If the thing hits one cent, I get a hundred. Did you say schlong term? Yeah, schlong term. <laughs> schlong a, term, everybody. I, I get it. I get one hundred twenty something thousand dollars. One hundred twenty seven schlong. If it hits one cent, right? Long term, and I want to pay capital gains taxes because I've had it for so long. Mm. See, big brain working here. <laughs> On the group chat, right. real quick. Uh, have y'all with the group chat? Have y'all not seen the border town battle of Dripping Springs? The videos of these folks show how stupid these folks were and oh. have become. Oh, yeah. I need to watch that. That sounds interesting. I have not. I love Dripping Springs. We passed Dripping Springs to go to... Uh, Jester to King. J- Jester King, and right? Yeah, oh, Salt Jacob, Lake. Jacob's, Jacob's Well. well. Uh, that's Wimberley. Yeah. It's, Jacob's it's, Well? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's same, but different. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Dripping Springs, like down near Hamilton Pool. and That's Tammy's Jester favorite uh, vodka, Dripping Springs. Nice. Hey, so... Uh, have you? I want to get into a little bit of sports real quick. Let's just get into a little bit of sports. Just a little bit of sports. Have you seen the whole... Play the music if you're going to get into sports. You don't Play have to do it. it. Play the fucking music. You don't have to do anything. You don't Play it, to clown. Something. He's going to open his laptop. Good. He's going to do it. Got to do it proper. I, I got to log We don't really want to get into the whole thing. Yes, we do. Yes, obviously, if Tim's going to bring it up, then it's important. Tim, this is your And mistake. if my baby thinks it's important, my baby knows it's important. Well, and it's not that it's gonna important. And my going to Baby gets what baby wants. You're the baby. Baby <laughs> gets what baby wants. You just put down three beers. Shut You're up. You're the baby in this situation. It would help if I could remember my password to get in here. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> this is great. And now action sports with Tim because I have something to say. Take it away, Tim, when you have something to say. Thank you. All right, so did you uh, catch any of the all-star NHL hockey? Am I white? All right, so Justin Bieber played. Really? Yes. I heard he did really well. He did so well, in fact, that and I, I haven't gotten confirmation on which two teams, but two teams have gave him basically like a private uh, combine, and they're looking at signing him to play hockey professionally. For one so year. it's just every Canadian good at yeah. hockey. That yeah. So he. Uh, so J- I guess Justin was like he he played like select leagues and all sorts of stuff growing up. He's and Canadian. Then, and then his music yeah. took off, and so he still kept up with his hockey skills. Right. Um, going into it, but he plays this, and and he did so well that they're looking at giving him a one year try. And Justin's come out and said that he's wanting to take a break on music, anyways. So because he's got so much money. They wouldn't have to pay him that much. He would get a chance to be a professional. Oh, fuck Just that. Tickets would sell out. I know. So th- that's what I was going to get at. So this is now his chance to be a professional hockey player, right? Yeah. Doing it for fun, basically. I mean, they could sign him for you know $100,000 or whatever. And that's just pocket change for him. But he's getting to do something that he loves to do. And just think about how much tickets, like you said, tickets are going to sell out. I want to go see, you know. Um, I want to see Justin Bieber play for the the Edmonton uh, Oilers. Oilers or uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs or whatever syrup name is Vancouver out there. Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, that. I don't think that's syrup though. <laughs> Anyways, the maple syrup, Montreal maple syrup. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he, I think that's pretty fucking cool. But on the flip side, Michael Bublé also played in that game. Fuck Michael Bublé. Did you hear? Um, did, did you hear what happened? He no. cheated on Emily Blunt, is what he did. Not during the game. No, but I, but, <laughs> but now she's married he, to John Krasinski, so it all worked out. Michael Bublé fucked the shit out of that hockey puck. That he was cheating on that. Yeah. Uh, anyways, did he turn off the cameras? No, they left them on. Oh, all right. So I'm just gonna cut the sports news down real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna pull this. Let me let me pull my video pull here. This wiener. I'm gonna pull this wiener here. Uh, and I'm just going to play. <sighs> Come on, TikTok. Mushrooms. Oh, hello there. Hello, Aaron. Play from the All-Star game, basically saying, yeah, I'm on mushrooms right now, tripping balls. My buddy told me this is just a microdose of mushrooms, and he was lying. So I'll be honest, I thought I was in Blades of Glory for most of the time that I was out there until it sort of settled down, and then I realized, holy 
I'm at the NHL All-Star Game. <laughs> Damn. Uh, that's so cool. That awesome. Like, I want to know, like, if that's real. I mean, Michael Bublé could just be pulling pull one over on us, but I halfway think that that's legit. I believe, I believe it. it. I believe it. Dude, mushrooms are the next big thing. Have you ever thought about, like, the things that rich people do are obviously the next big thing? Yeah. A Michael, lot of rich people are doing mushrooms, mushrooms now. Yeah. It's uh, not Dar- like a- Darius Rucker, he got uh, in trouble just uh, well, was last it year. mushrooms? Yeah, I'll get into that. He got uh, in trouble last year, and that's why we're just now seeing it now because he turned himself in. Um, but he had a vape pen. He told him he had a blunt, and they found some pills, and they didn't know what the pills were, and they test them, and it was psilocybin. Nice. Bro, fuck cop. Fucking cops, man. What the fuck? They arrested Darius Rucker for just wanting to have a good time. He yeah. was just getting some hootie for his blowfish. <laughs> That's exactly what was happening. And hootie and the blowfish are going on tour. Hell yeah. Which Just don't come to Texas because some fucking shitty town's going to be like, I'm going to make an example out of that hootie. Well, I mean, maybe oh, not my. Dallas or Fort Worth. They did it to Snoop. So there's these like tech million billionaires, all these like tech people that are doing mushrooms like in like groups like yeah. they're, it's a big deal to them. Yeah. You know, it's coming up like, you know, it's a big deal. It's, it's I don't wouldn't say it's like things white. It's just white people. Things white no, people they're, are they're, they're, into. they're testing it, though, on like uh, different psych stuff and all that. So, I mean, it's yeah. I mean, medically, yeah, 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 whatever. But like that's what I'm saying. It's recreationally, oh, yeah, I think that it's going to become a big deal. It was already a big deal. I know just, it's a big deal, but hush, hush, big deal. Yeah. Like, I think it's going to be like more aligned with I mean, we're not there yet here in texas with marijuana yet but like oh it's yeah. just normal now yeah I no one so gives too. a shit anymore can you imagine though like a bunch of people out just walking around tripping balls <laughs> i'm not saying that i know anyone that's done that in belgium but it's rough it is not okay yeah i could just see like uh you could see like you know you just go to some major metropolitan city and all of a sudden you just see somebody flipping the shit because you know they because they can't handle their psilocybin they ate way too much we should have had that extra uh, stem. Man, people are weird. People suck, man. It's people are getting like taking our fun. And they're like, I'm going to go to the country club and play golf, and I'm going to take mushrooms. I can see that happening, too. Like, get the fuck out of here, What's man. What's that one golfer? Um, Tiger Woods. No. Tiger Hood. The, uh, the, the big, old guy? The big dude who drinks all John the time. John Daly. John Daly. He probably does mushrooms. I can on see the John Daly doing mushrooms and, and, and probably playing the best game of his life this is ripping and gripping baby yeah he's just ripping and gripping it's a bad boy of golf right there that's right do you know something else that rich people have been doing a lot recently Butt that i've been sex. seeing <laughs> no <laughs> no he, he hit it on the head never mind i'm no, what, still what, what, intrigued and want to try it i'm what, surprised what have they been, everybody what, christy what have they been tried. doing uh buying and like setting up bunkers Oh, yeah. Doomsday. Like, but a lot more recently. Like, people that you would think that, not like a prepper type situation, nothing wrong with preppers. No, they're really fine. Like, I have prepped to an extent on certain things. However, these are like grown ass, rich ass motherfuckers that really feel like they need a bunker. Yeah. What was that? Um, what was that movie that we just, that, that just came out that was on Netflix or something about the end of the world? Gossip this is, Girl. This is the end? <laughs> no, no. Uh, there was a movie. About basically the end of end of times and uh, bird box. No, <laughs> this is recent. Um, but this little girl finds a house and there's a bunker in it. Armageddon. Yes, Armageddon. Anyways, don't want to close my eyes. Do you think they're prepping? Do you think don't they're ready? Re- Do you think they're expecting something? You, yes, that's what I'm saying. Same reason why a bunch of Mormons are moving to uh, Missouri. What the fuck? Why are people moving to Missouri? That's where Jesus is gonna land. <laughs> What? He according, gonna land in a spaceship. He uh, gonna land right there. According to uh, Mormon Minnesota. lore, I mean, Matt, which Matt. I got. Sometimes I get a Mormon TikTok. <laughs> Just happens. I you get intrigued to that. I get intrigued by the video, so I watch the full video. And the next thing I know, the next thirty videos is about being Mormon in their weird undergarments. Look, man, uh, I say this: be Mormon. Yeah. Do drugs. Enjoy life. I don't think you, you can't. The aliens are coming. You can't. The aliens are coming. You can't do drugs and be a Mormon. Whether it be space aliens or them illegal aliens, they coming. Chad, don't say that. That's terrible. Everyone knows that I don't sound like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I I don't know. I, oh, I, leave I, the world behind on Netflix? Leave the world behind. Yeah, yeah. Leave the world behind. Are, are you concerned, though, that these Thank rich you, people Rappin are buying Aaron. bunkers? I, 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 so I, I think that when I think we shouldn't 
look past what rich people do. No. Because they know more than we it's do. It's like Nancy Pelosi Not buying a bunch of Not because they're smarter, shit. just because they're closer yeah. to the Lord, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> they they know what's going on. The bigger the money, the bigger the pocketbook, and I think the, that they know that closer to God, right? The bigger the hair, the closer to God. For like mushrooms, they know it's coming. So they're going to like get in on the ground floor. Maybe they're trying to grow mushrooms so they can have them in their bunker for whenever they're down there for long periods of time. They can have their own entertainment. Right. Agreed. But I, I think that they do think that there's going to be something. Like there's... I, why would... I don't remember who it was. It was like Elon Musk and Zuckerberg, like people that you wouldn't expect to be like bunker people. And they're like building bunkers. I kind of expect them, though. I mean, Joe Rogan, I would expect. Yeah. But I thought Elon and and Mark would just be welcoming their their families from outer space home, you know, (laughs) with open arms. But maybe they maybe they're on to something. Maybe they know they're the the ETs out there are are very violent. Did y'all did you see the video that Stargate sent? I, I didn't have time to watch it. But, I didn't either. Um, but aliens. I was really hoping you would watch it. Oh, man. Uh, it looked like an amoeba, though. Like they found some sort of thing in some water or whatever. I didn't watch it. but it wa- Son of a bitch. Uh, none of us watched it? No. I definitely knew that one of y'all were going to watch it. I was working, it. man. I'm sorry. I, mean, I, I was I was too, man. I, I was working. You're always watching videos at work. Yeah, but that's porn. <laughs> With the cameras off around yeah, the Tesla. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> service mode, bitch! Um, on the group chat, let's see what we got. Have you watched that Mormon doc on Hulu? I haven't seen it yet. If it's anything that, uh, yeah. Have y'all seen the... signs of life on another planet that we've ever discovered. It was on a planet called K218b. It's a Hycean planet, which are super Earths up to 10 times the size of Earth, and it's completely covered in water. These types of planets orbit red dwarf stars, the most common type of star in the universe, so these Hycean planets might actually be extremely common. What makes K218b so special is that it's in the star's habitable zone, which is exciting in and of itself, but that's not the biggest thing. The JWST does discovered carbon dioxide and DMS, dimethyl sulfide. The only time that we've ever seen DMS produced naturally here on Earth is in our oceans, and that DMS is solely produced by marine life. The oceans there would be relatively hot and would have a similar composition to the water around hydrothermal geysers, which are always thriving with life. Now, we don't know if the potential life could be complex or simply microbial, but this could be the beginning of huge discoveries that could lead to the confirmation of life outside of Earth. Doubt it. Well, there you go. I don't know what any of that meant. So it means that they found emissions that are excreted from animals' butts. You mean uh, (laughs) nocturnal emissions? Not nocturnal emissions, just normal emissions. And so, hey, it's on another planet that's in the habitable zone. Okay. Hey, have y'all seen this show on FX called A Murder at the End of the World? No, but uh, is it about the end of the world? It's about a murder around the end of the world. But the world's ending? Hmm. Would it be considered murder, though? The world's ending and everybody's going to die anyway. Wait, who's that actor? He, yeah, Clive something? Clive Owen? No. Because they're not dead it's yet. Clive Owen. Is it Clive Owen? Yeah, it's Clive Owen. Is it Clive Owen? He's in, he's in that show. Clive okay. Owen is, a, is an actor. That's I a, know. That is a real name. Okay. Waterworld was a good movie. He's the one with the stripper in that movie that one time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He had a bunch of them. Did you swallow his cum? <laughs> Yeah, that one. Yeah. So this show is so weird. It was I didn't love it at first. It was just something to watch while I wasn't working. And it actually ended up being one of my favorite shows, I think. Really? Oh. It's really interesting because it it's like this murder. It's like Clue. Like it's like a futuristic Clue, like this murder mystery type thing. But around the end of the world. Sort of. Is the world ending in that show? Is that what that is that why people were there for? Is it like leftovers where it's all about Thanksgiving? Oh fuck yeah. I love Thanksgiving. When we talk about like no. <laughs> when we talk about like uh, rich people in their bunkers and foreseeing the yeah, future yeah. and whatever, there's something along those lines. Okay. But it was pretty good. Kind of like uh those bunkers in uh in Denver Airport. Oh yeah, with all the lizard people? With the lizard people that live there. Yeah. I'm just curious what's gonna I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff happening. Like the Navy, get this. So this is you're talking about bunkers. I'm more concerned about this. So the Navy just dropped this, the minimum score needed to join, and <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Sorry, and then, sorry. And then they, so and, and wow. then they also, uh, they also just made it where you don't even have to have a high school diploma or GED. Seriously, the Navy? Yeah, that's concerning. Hey, my sister's on. Hey, tell Elias to to join the Navy because you could be dumb as rocks. He just be wow. his rocks and join the. He's a smart boy. That one. Yeah, it's uh that that's concerning. So you you got the people that are that are buying bunkers up, and I've got you know looking at that. I'm like, what what what's happening? Hey, but at least we got our 
our goggles, our Vision Pro. Yep, and our and virtual our, pornography and our bulletproof vehicles. <laughs> do you think? Uh, do you think that's going to really push the industry of and uh, our sports drink of virtual porn? Huh? Do you think that those goggles and stuff is like that? That this is more accessible? I guess no. It already has been. It already has been. It's just that the things that they make, maybe there's a peripheral you can put on that where you're in the. You know, like what Dave had in mm-hmm. the show, Dave? This episode's not brought to you by sports, but Turning Point, if you'd like to sponsor us with some beer sometime, give us beer. We we would love it. Thank you. Remember what are we that, talking about? The thing that uh, Dave had in the show, Dave? The, like the lower torso? No, not that one. Like the machine he had. Oh. I, I and the VR heard. key. I think he used VR goggles. With oh, that yeah, too. the machine. He's got like his hands on there. Oh, yeah. 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 That whole show is that all that show's about? Yeah, mostly. But I don't, I, I, I don't think it was renewed for season four. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I know somebody, the uh, Asian girl, the the yeah. videographer or whatever, like she said goodbye to her character. Shut up. And I'm like, man, Sorry. I want one. I mean, this. Did you finish this last season? I did. Yeah, Brad, Pitt. Brad Pitt for sure. It's um, fantastic. It's amazing. I loved it. But uh, not so, as good uh, as it's not as good as season two. I, I thought it was great. It was they amazing. Had some, yeah. some stars in there. Uh, what's her face was in there? Uh, Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams. Oh, Love interest. Fun. Random. Um, I wanted to bring up uh, irrational fears real quick. Okay. So yeah. I got a new. I've got a new irrational. <laughs> I want to talk about something specific. And it's Castles. irrational fear. <laughs> so I've got a new irrational fear. Okay. Because just recently, I, you know, I, I get these news updates and stuff, and this happened. This happened here in in the Metroplex. So a Dallas man accused of stealing twenty homes. Rejects plea deal, claims he was unaware of twelve year prison sentence offer. I don't I don't understand. I'm gonna say that again. A man who stole twenty homes. Yeah. New fear unlocked, my house could be stolen. Oh yeah, yeah. Totally. So, so this dude was going around and making uh fraudulent deeds and then kicking people out of the houses and he stole up to like twenty homes. Mm-hmm. And now I'm terrified. Because I'm just waiting for this man to come because he's he's still out there. I told somebody the story of how you're family almost got scammed oh yeah yeah with that with the yeah but could you imagine just imagine though someone shows up to your house to evict you because you don't have that deed not even that they can get your voice that's why whenever they ask you if, hey, oh yeah can you hear me like and you say yes you're not supposed to say yes you're supposed to either hang up or just be like uh something that's like not like yeah i just hang up I, I like, usually do not pick up phone numbers. Yeah, I do not do. know. I love talking shit to them. Oh, I won't. I, don't I talk get, every I don't wanna, fucking person that's like. Uh, I don't want to get scammed again. Like, hey, you know, uh, are you trying to sell your property? How dare you, sir? I'm homeless. You know, I'll do that shit. Yeah, I've never. Um, I, I didn't think that I would have to be afraid of someone stealing my house through, yeah. through fraudulent deeds. I, I do remember that whole thing. Like you go on vacation, which I don't go on vacation enough or long enough to really worry about this. I don't think. <laughs> But where people were like, basically, you you go on like a month, yeah, you go on a month long vacation. Yeah. Someone gets into your house and stays there for a month, and now all of a sudden they've got, you know, renters' rights, squatters' rights. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Squatters' rights. You I didn't it's think, all fucked up. I didn't think I had to be terrified of that. Yeah. No. Uh, they have radio commercials about that. Like in the in the event that you have a squatter in your house. No, like stolen deeds, like yeah. stolen. Uh, property so there's something else with ai that's helping some of that shit too like right. i saw today that there's a company that is doing like black market um passports oh using ai like legit will work past like the, no. the yeah but they scan that shit though i don't know how i don't know but it's working can they give a me thing. a social security card so i don't have to pay taxes probably and then there's another thing that was happening there was a guy that did a video call i want to want to say it was somewhere in the middle east or something like that he, he or no it was in asia i think it was in china actually now i'm thinking about it. it was in china the guy gets on a video phone call with this person from this company this big company and he looks like the exact like the ceo or some shit and he tells the guy to write a check for 120 million dollars and put it into this account for this project that they're working on well the guy's got this ai deep fake thing going on in the the video software and so the guy did it yeah but did not realize that it wasn't the ceo new fear so another another fear unlocked right someone just becoming you yeah i mean why would they want to do that <laughs> It would make no sense. You're not going to get any money, and you're not going to get anywhere very far. They want to become the Funky Panther. That could be it. What? Let's just say, hypothetically, okay. we turn on our YouTube, and it's been hijacked. Yeah. 
by deep fakes of our, ourselves. I would I would enjoy it. I'd sit back and watch. <laughs> but I, they're I all even be but, upset. They're, but they're doing obscene things. Okay, more I'm, so than what we normally do. Okay, I might be a little upset. And then they're screaming their names. But here's the deal, right? And if so it's like I'm Chad. Crazy stuff, you know, and, everything we've done in the past is null and void. Because then we could just say so it was we were always a deep fake. Always a deep fake. We yeah. were never really here. So we could literally do anything. Once a waterbed, always a waterbed. I don't understand that reference. What's, what does that mean? <laughs> was that you? <laughs> was that your throat <laughs> gurgling? Little gurgle. I had a little throat gurgle. <laughs> Once a waterbed, oh always a water. All right, Jesus. so I've got nothing else for tonight. Um, do y'all got anything else that y'all want to bring up? While I feel we're like here? there was probably something, but maybe not. Here, maybe. let me check my phone real quick. The, the The biggest thing is I want everybody that's listening to understand that we're big deals. We're going to uh, uh, visit Fort Worth annual breakfast uh, on the 15th this month. And we're going to have a good time. We're going to go to the Fort Worth Forever event at Ampersand. That's why. Right. That's, on the that's, same that's, day. I almost said that's white. <laughs> that's right. It's not. Uh, and you on know the that's white. from 7 to 9 at Ampersand, it's going to be a great time. Yeah, I think, a whole uh, party day. That It will be. I don't know what I'm going to do in between those day, those times, but. I'm working. <laughs> yeah, you're going back to work. I'm going back to I work. I took the day off. Nice. Very know, smart. I'm going to probably get a little little tipsy at that annual breakfast okay i've got a question to end the episode this is the best way to end the episode what is something that you eat now that you would have never thought you're gonna be old enough to go yeah that sounds good right now you know what i mean like something that in your teens or 20s you're like fucking only old people have that dude i love a good bowl of oatmeal man <laughs> dude Right? I mean, whenever I had food poisoning, I was eating a lot of oatmeal. And like, I'm God not even. Damn, so good. I will tell you though, the you know the packs of oatmeal that you get from like the Quaker, yes, Quaker, yeah. o, you know, Quaker oats or whatever that's got like the flavors, right? Yeah. So my go-to is always peaches and cream, apple cinnamon, oh, apple cinnamon, apple, apple cinnamon, cinnamon. For y'all. peaches and cream for me. Um, two packs. I will tell you, I got one of those not that long ago, and it does not taste nearly like it did whenever I was younger. Oh, damn. It's like they took the sweetness out. Yeah. Try to make everything healthier. However, I can get down with some oatmeal, and some little butter, maybe just a little bit of brown sugar in there, and I'm happy. Remember when we were in Ireland and we were so stoked that, that place had porridge? Yeah. We're like, let's get some porridge. Like, I've never had porridge. We've heard about it. It's just fucking oatmeal. <laughs> it's fucking oatmeal. It's fucking oatmeal. We were so stoked. Yeah. Like, we we got up early. It was at that fancy hotel. We so we could at. have the breakfast at the fancy hotel. And me and Javier were like, porridge, please. And they're like, here's your oatmeal. I'm like, what the fuck? We <laughs> But we also, we had. Uh, did, they, uh, did they look at you stupid and just give you oatmeal? <laughs> No, that's what porridge is. I thought there was a difference. I thought it'd be like a thick soupy type of... Like, that's like cream of wheat. Yeah, like a cream of wheat yeah, type yeah. thing. I don't know. Okay, old food. Um, Like old people food? Yeah, something that you didn't think that you would eat, and now you're like... Oh, oh dude, on the group chat, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts and asparagus. Spaghetti like whatever, squash. Spaghetti, yeah, but spaghetti squash, like we eat that usually sometimes. With, but Cauliflower <laughs> crust pizza. Fucking Metamucil. Followed by Metamucil. <laughs> Look, I've been, Herbie, I've been thinking about getting some Metamucil. I saw, I heard Tom uh, Seguro talking about that with, uh, with Christina. And he was talking about, he was mad because Christina didn't fix him his Metamucil in the morning like she normally does. It's it's been coming back. You know what's interesting uh, is all of these old products that people are trying to rebrand, like different like shaving, and they kind of rebrand it as like this cool thing to shave, like straight like, edge raising, like razor. yeah, all that kind of shit. Yeah. Well, if you have you seen those stupid ads, it's like you can't buy this poop shake, but like my girlfriend got it for me. Have you seen those ads? Super Bloom or whatever? Yeah, something. It's like <laughs> you can't even buy it. I'm like, bitch, it's on your website. You're you're just trying to. I can buy it. Right. I can buy it right now if I want to. I, you know, I was, I was thinking about like, oh, that sounds pretty interesting. So I looked at the ingredients. It's, ba- it's Metamucil. It is Metamucil sold at twice the price of Metamucil. It's the exact same thing. Metamucil is not cheap. And so I bought Metamucil. I'm like, okay, I'm a Metamucil guy now, I guess. You take I'm it every day? There. I try to once I mean, every couple of days. I mix it with like a little, uh, a little, little orange banana juice, shake. A little banana shake. You feeling good? I feel regular. What's shit, what's an what's a cereal that you thought was only for old people that you enjoy now? Fucking uh, what's that wheat thing? It looks like bales of hay. I thins? I loved. Oh no, not wheat thins. I preferred old people cereal like raisin bran, shredded wheat, grape grape nuts, grape frosted nut, shredded. Did you ever eat those grape nuts? Uh, basic four for me. Well, no, no, uh, crackling oat bran, crackling oat bran. It's like a little O of like thick like granola. Oh. Yum. So fucking good. What about honey? Uh, what not? Honey bunches of oats? Honey bunches of oats. Oh, God damn. So good. I fuck with honey. Basic four is really good. Uh, raisin bran. Um, Straight up checks. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Checks. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of milk. That. Wheaties. Yeah, Wheaties are good. I mean, I you know. I mean, still nothing could be like Reese's Puffs. I was, never, like that, I was never but. a cornflakes guy. Really? I love cornflakes. Well, basic cornflakes. But did you want to have sex whenever you ate it? Because <laughs> that's why I was made. <laughs> so, Keep so from having sex. So, like, the basic breakfast I'd have when I was in Mexico would be cornflakes milk with sugar on top and uh, cut bananas. Oh, yeah. I would have that. When you have something like, in it, it's okay. By itself, yeah. with no sweetness, it's yeah. pretty garbage. But, like, even growing up, like, we never, like, our mom didn't really get us, like, sugary cereal and she if she did it was like the the bag cereal right the, that's the only the, way it came like you go yeah. to save a lot bag yeah. <laughs> yeah but i was always a fan of that old cereal man like the old or either that or oatmeal yeah it was a lot of uh, my, my dad ate cheerios my mom got those honey bunches of oats and yeah. occasionally occasionally she didn't like me getting fruity pebbles because she's like they're too greasy and we used to make orange juice with the fucking thing you put in the freezer and the concentrate Oh and yeah, you yeah, put it in and with mix it with water. Yeah. We used to do that too. My mom got the puffed rice or whatever it was. Do you remember yeah, that shit? Yeah, it was like the worst. But now it sounds pretty good. Yeah. Like that would I would fuck with that. All right. So the whole reason I was talking about the food thing, I like cottage cheese now. Oh, Cotta- oh I fuck with cottage cheese and yeah. peaches, man. Oh, thank God. I I've thought been, it was just I've been me. Fucking Seriously, with that since I was a yeah. kid. Katie always gets. She's like, "Why are you fucking eating cottage cheese?" I got it on accident. I was trying to get Greek yogurt and I grabbed the wrong thing and I had it at home. I'm like, "Well, I guess I'm gonna try it at least before I throw it away." And I'm like. This is so good. Can I, do you ever I put strawberries? Do you put salt like when you eat it with peaches? Do you put salt on the peaches? Do you the, ever eat it with peaches? I, I've just had it with strawberries do and bananas. It, try with peaches. Yeah, yeah, with a little bit of. Peach. I feel like that's old. Put a little peach juice in there. What, what was that movie where they're like <laughs> feeding each other peaches? Like, you remember what I'm talking no. about? No. Why'd you make that face? The fuck was that? <laughs> because it was like an old grandma or something, and they're like feeding her peaches no, or but, something. No, uh, but seriously, try 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 with some peaches. On the okay. real quick, I'm just gonna run through this. Um, let's just run through it. Okay, right. so um, we already went through. Damn, the chat's blowing up like that. Um, Wheaties, mini Wheaties, uh, mini wheats. Total, total's good. I love total. I yeah. fuck with I'm a fan of total. Um, let's see. Chrissy was trying to think of crackling oat brand. Uh, canned juice was the best. Canned juice was the best, and they yeah. even had canned fruit punch. Also, um, my sister hates cottage cheese. Um, let's see. I'm singing the peaches song. For peach song from Mario. Peaches, 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 peaches. peaches, peaches, peaches. It's a really good movie. That Mario. That's a movie. great movie. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, let's see what else. Um, Especially if you, you know, take a gummy. <laughs> Um, let's see from Gladys, uh, Dr. Jekker, jo- Dr. Jerk, Je- Dr. Dr. Jekyll's, Jekyll's beer lab, beer lab birthday Dr. Party Jerkoff is this February 10th, this Saturday, uh, JOE is performing. I think it's like their 10 year. Remember Dr. Jekyll's? We used to get beer stuff there. It's in Arlington and now it's like a straight up brewery. Oh, yeah. They're doing like a, a 10 year or something like that. Yeah. That'd be fun to go check out. There's so many things. There's more things that's got to happen because I, did you see that, uh, uh, local news, um, the Pearl Snap Kolaches is being it's going to close for about three weeks while they retool, I guess, their menu or like. Is this going to be another one of those things where they say they close for three weeks and they just never come back? I hope not. Like the place that Gustos took over, which I'm good with that because Gustos is better than the place was there. And then also the Monkey, Easy Monkey. Yeah. That place, I think, is done. But they're supposed to close and then come back. And I they thought just Angie never did. Like, sent us like a thing that said they were going to be closed for a bit and then come back. But now I think they're just done because there was like, I don't know. Business is weird. Yeah, right it's now. weird. Man, go try new things. Go visit new restaurants. There's a lot of things opening up here in Fort Worth um, and come to Fort Worth. And I know that the news of uh, what? I had my arms bent too long. <laughs> ah, you idiot. Oh, and then they were just coming down real yeah. slow. Said, your well, tendons. Bro, you need to ice your, you need to dude, ice it right so here. Sore. Those tendons, you're going to be like this. I'm telling you yeah. right now. You're gonna arms your arms are gonna be like this. You need to ice them. This is a the, day one was Monday in the gym. This is our new gym boy. I'm trying to I'm trying to better myself here. Day one was Monday. It was arms doing bicep curls and all that fun stuff. We La did Honda talk about closed. that. La Honda did close. Yeah. We did. We went to the pop up after uh, the eight one seven eight one seven day. Yeah. Right. And I mean, I'm glad they lasted as long as they did over there. But really, what do you mean? It was like two or three months. What, they four closed, months. They closed last month. August of turn twenty or so. Yeah, January, like four five months. months. Four or five months. Crazy. Yeah. Life's so, weird. 
All right. We're All right. old. So, again, we're going to have a guest uh, next week. That's the plan. That's the plan. We're Somebody reach for. out to her. I already did. Cool. And if not, we'll have another guest. But we will have a guest next week. We've got a lot of things going on on the 15th. Yes. We have the uh, uh, Visit Fort Worth. Visit Fort Worth. Also, also um, the Fourth Forever. Fourth Forever. Uh, gallon or singles, singles. Is fucking. I love how Javier like really wants to like get into it, but he just forgets everything he's supposed to say. <laughs> Go ahead and end us off, Javier. With Fuck the phone you. number, the social. <laughs> uh, if you want to leave us a message, call us at 817-677-9346. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> 817-677-0408. That's what it was. And uh, follow us on all social media. Is that staticky? Yeah, yeah I've got it plugged in. Hang on. Oh, yeah. God. Follow there us on all social medias at the Funky Panther. Yeah, and on YouTube, the Funky Panther underscore. Is that right? I think, yeah, just or research. Or search us. Do research us on the Funky uh, Panther. On the Funky Panther. Um, hey, our shorts been blown up for the most part. We have. Get it. Hey, y'all in the chat room, get in there in those comments on the shorts, and you show some people up, man. Show some love. We had some people uh, really dogging on us, and I could have used a little, <laughs> a little, you know. We need some pep in our YouTube comments. A little someone behind us, but <laughs> I got in there. And also for you, Tim, when you're working out, you should take BCAAs instead of water. It helps your body recover from workout. Yeah, 100%. Take that, I hear please. testosterone helps, too. <laughs> Um, but other than that, follow us on all social medias. Give us a listen. And again, listen to the first or watch the first 30 on YouTube uh, before every episode. Stay good, Stay everybody. Good, everybody. I'm Javier. I'm Chad. And I'm Tim. And we are the Funky Panther.